we sit by the High Council. Another High Council lackey come begging? I told Lovick no more. Forgive my brother. He has been forgetting his manners of late. Victor, this is a Nascos chosen. You recall Lovick sent word. I recall he spoke of a newly anointed promised. And we do not need help, especially from an outsider. You can't continue to refuse the council. You must act. Your inaction is killing you. Precisely, which is why he leaves me no choice but to say this. Vote of no confidence. My nephew, Varric, has left. And until he returns, Victor refuses to assist the council. These are hardly matters for the ears of an outsider. Sounds like a poor excuse not to help the High Council. You have no idea what you speak of. You are an outsider. You have no understanding of our house. Um, hmm. I know you're expected to be a leader, and you are acting like a child. The audacity! I should have you arrested. Is this not the opportunity you've been looking for, brother? A third party capable of finding Varric? Yes, you said so yourself. Presenting. Someone with no loyalties to speak of. And if he's become promised, truly his arrival is more than coincidence. <sighs> Serpent, give me strength. You both speak true. Perhaps I have reacted in haste. Tell me, Vindicator. Are you well practiced in discretion? Well, my weapons have silencers on them. I hope your word is good as well. As Vittoria mentioned, my son, Varric, has left. I wonder he why. He has abandoned his post. And not only did he turn his back on his house, but the great serpent as well. He is a traitor. And must be dealt with as such. Well, we need to know his reasoning sure first. He does, Luther. He is allowing his fervent pride and anger to cloud his judgment. Yes, he is. What my brother is trying to say is that he wishes his own son dead. First, we lose Vashti to that malignant tearing through Dazra. And now you so willingly offer up Varric. As if our house has not suffered enough loss already. Okay. Why would he leave at a time like this? Because he let his weakness get the better of him. He sees himself as a prisoner in this life. He runs from a duty that others would spend their lives coveting. He is my son. He does not get to choose. He was born to inherit my title, oh, and he wow. knows the punishment for refusing to honor it. This, this is, this is, man. I'll tell you one thing. This is one area where my own dad and I have had major disagreements over the years because of family legacy. F fuck that. Fight your own path in life, kids. What did he do to turn his back on the My great son servant? denounced the very faith that defines Varun's society. He dared to blame Anasco for the state of Dazra. Dared to call our faith in the great serpent blind. Oh, I agree. It is heresy and punishable by death. Well, that's because you're a theocracy who are letting your crazy religious views dictate law. I will not speak of her with an outsider, promised or not. Your focus is solely on Vedic. Well, it's killing him for leaving sounds extreme. Of course it would. As someone from the settled systems, you have no concept of what the Great Serpent demands of us. And I'm glad I don't. I do not wish Vedic dead, but as head of the Ministry of State, he left me no choice. All must serve. Those who refuse will be met with death. That's... Wow. So how does his death relate to power grid access? The same very brought upon this house is immeasurable. It stains the very foundation. 
I will not act until this house is in order and its members are properly aligned with the Great Serpent. Yeah. You know, he is your son. You could make an exception. Exceptions show weakness. And we cannot afford to show weakness at a time like this. Cuckoo! We have done the same for less. You act as if death is the only answer. What about forgiveness? I will not risk the Ministry's authority on the actions of my own son, even if he is my chosen heir. This guy's idiot. If the High idiot. Council wants my cooperation, I need you to find Verdict and carry out his sentence. And I would ask you to spare him. My brother is acting under impulse. I'm not with her. Reason. I have never been more clear. Speak against me one more time, and you will regret it. Oh, wow. Verik has a signet ring with House Vethal's family crest. We're going to get the ring without taking him out. As proof of death. He'll, he'll go on to live Only somewhere in the settled systems. I grant we'll get him out. To the power grid. I agree with Toria. There must be another way. There is no other way. The Ministry of State must uphold order, and you will be expected to serve, as we all do. I recommend you start by speaking to patrons of the Herald's Rest. Some of Verdict's associates there may know where he went, but keep in mind, anyone who has directly aided him in hiding is an accomplice and shares his fate. Craziness. I'll use my best discretion. See to it you do. All anyone needs to know is that you are looking for Varric for personal reasons. I will not risk word of his disappearance, getting out before I can say the situation has been handled. Okay, well... You're crazy. Serpent's favor upon you. Uh, staff entrance? Oh, that didn't take me where. Mess hall. Well, hopefully I can get rid of that dude as the Minister of State, because he's an absolute idiot. beverage and a quick bio. I'll be right back.
All right, cat dad stuff. You gonna be okay, buddy? You gonna be able to be sitting here, or do I need to put you back in the hole? Do you want to go in the hole? I'm joking. He doesn't go in a hole. The milk crate down here. I think he's gonna be okay. You wanna come say hi to everybody? Big fatty. He decided he wanted to come in the office with daddy. Yeah. I don't think you're ready for sleep yet because you're still a little rambunctious. We'll see. One more second. some stuff with Chris before we get into going any further. Silent Dave says he looks like my twins I used to have. He is the, uh, he is by far the biggest one we've got. Yes, you are. Look at those massive murder mittens. Yeah, you're a big boy. I don't even know what you weigh anymore. 14, 15 pounds? You're a big boy. Yeah. All right, relax, take a bath. All right, we got three locations over here. We need to inquire. Find out where this kid went. Just trying to survive one more day. <laughs> oh, what do you want? Can't you see I'm busy? Sorry to interrupt, but I need to know where I can find Varric the Thal. Oh, you just revealed the question of the day. Where is Varric the Thal? The worst thing that can possibly happen happens. And then he disappears. I mean, come on. We're supposed to be friends. Hmm. Sure he has good reason. What's the worst thing that could possibly happen? Okay, maybe it's not the worst thing. But look around you. It's almost post-apocalyptic so second worst possible thing that could happen the worst thing being if none of us I don't think I mixed my vitamin water up very good <clears throat> that last sh that last little residual bit had some crunchiness to it some grit in it I'm sure he has good reason hmm <laughs> is there ever a good reason to abandon your friends You'd think B would at least be commiserating with me. But I'm suddenly too drunk to deal with. <laughs> Some friend she is. All she cares about is Varric. Maybe she has a point as far as the alcohol is concerned. Oh, not you two. That's the last thing I need. I just want Varric to show up so things can get back to normal. Whatever that is. He must have trusted you with Did some information. Did he trust me? <laughs> I just don't know anymore. <clears throat> he could need your help. Yeah. He had to have said something. Maybe it was more of a one-sided. Oh, this guy's completely gonna block me down. I want to help, but I really can't think of anything. Do 
You don't think I've been over things a thousand times? Please, I just leave All right. me. What? This railing is taken. And no, I'm not looking for company. Fair enough. I'm not here to visit. I'm looking for Varric. Oh, of course. Who would be looking for me anyway? And why should I know anything about the heir apparent? I'm nobody. Ask him yourself if you find him. Um. You seem really down. Are you all right? Oh, sure. I'm just fine. Hundreds of people are presumed dead. One best friend ran out on me. The other's just drinking himself to death. So yeah, couldn't be better. From your tone, you know him better than you let on. Do I? Perhaps at one point, I thought I did. Varric. It's a good thing that he's deciding to go to sleep, because it's a... Uh... And the next... <laughs> I've searched all of Dazra for him. I think it's like 11.30. Uh, it's like 11 leave a note. That means he either doesn't want to be found He's or... He's right on schedule. Well, I prefer not to think about it. Surely he found out something while searching. So, what if I did? Like I said, he doesn't want to be found. Are you sure you searched everywhere? I'm so tired. It's possible I got I a critical something, success on that. Nothing comes to mind. All right, fine. But I'm only telling you this because I want him to be safe. I never found out where he is. But I know someone who might. His name is Tane Salavea. I appreciate the info. If you can find Varric, you're welcome to it. Tane's a regular here. So if you stick around, he's bound to show up sooner or later. Just promise me you'll let me know if you find Varric. I promise. Thank you. Wait for Tane. Are you doing all right? I don't know if it matters how long I'm supposed to wait. Tinkles is actually asking, am I enjoying the update? This is over on YouTube. Well, the best part about my day job, Tinkles, is I make tons of videos. And I put out my early thoughts on Starfield's Shattered Space update last night after about seven and a half hours of playing. It is pinned on YouTube and over on Twitch for those of you who are watching the multi-stream. So go ahead and give that a watch through Tinkles and you'll get the answers you're seeking. It's called Early Thoughts on Shattered Space. Just check the pinned section on YouTube. You'll find it there. And also those of you watching over on Twitch, no, it's in the pinned video section. I just some I worry about to you lift your spirits. Stop. Just stop. It's fun. That's that's it's your hint. It's a, it's a fun expansion. Go on. Let's wait one hour. Can I get you anything? I am sorry. A drink or two ought to lighten this mood. Hey, aren't you that outsider made promise that showed up here recently? Yeah, that's me. Impressive. Since these people really aren't into strangers. Especially in times like these. I'm an outsider myself. It's hard to get into the whole giant snake thing. I hear you there. Yeah, it's something, isn't it? Mm. I've been doting stuff back and forth for these people for years and still get the cold shoulder most places I go. But then, these people lose half their city and you show up, and suddenly it's divine intervention. Uh, I got the hero worship trait. <laughs> I'm used to having a fan club. Well, glad Dozer didn't disappoint. Something tells me you aren't kidding. Anyway, That's the first that. time I've seen dialogue show up I to the hero worship trait. That's funny. I heard you know where I can find Varric Vithal. That's so. Well, I guess that depends. Vindicator, who wants to know? An anonymous. Okay, I'm, I'm here on behalf of House Fathal. Well, in that case, I can't help you. Although, let's just say after what went down here, 
My retirement's looking imminent, and I haven't exactly been saving up for a rainy day. In other words, pay so me a bribe. if you're generous, maybe we can help each other out. <laughs> it's a deal. Nice to see we operate on the same wavelength. Hey, man. I've been I'm there. Sure I know what it's like. Islands. Just not sure where. But I do have the means to track him. So you just say the word, and we're off to the races. All right, let's go. After you. Once we're outside of Dazra, I'll fire up my tracker, and fingers crossed, it'll lead us right to him. Just head out the west gate. Should be the fastest route. Okay. This bar is the only thing keeping many people sane. All right. Another one for me, Jenna. Been... Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm always. Oh no! I did not mean to check your name. I'm so sorry, everybody. I'm so sorry, everybody. I don't have anything I could shuffle over there, but I'm still carrying a ton of stuff. I'm going to have to get rid of a lot of this stuff. Like, I don't even know what I'm going to use that for. Ew, I'm carrying a cyst around? Eh. Eh. I did. I have a whole video on why I won't be buying the PS5 Pro. One of the reasons being the ridiculous pricing. Like, I don't need to spend another 750 or whatever it is. I already have a PS5. Works great. Yeah, I know. They're there for grenades, Johnny. I just forgot there. I didn't realize they had a visual element in my uh, inventory. I hadn't seen them yet. If I hadn't have just bought my um, PS5 in March, I might be more inclined. But I just I just bought my PS5. It's like I don't see the need to turn around and buy a new one. And then it's I've got people sweet. are like, you should trade in your old one and get a new one. I was no like, it's not old. Like, I don't, drinks, especially considering the viewer, those of you who watch my streams, none of you are ever going to see anything beyond 60 frames per second, ever. Because the way Twitch and YouTube, but specifically Twitch, and Twitch is working on improving their codex um, programming for streaming, but you can't see anything beyond 60 frames as a viewer because Twitch and YouTube I have to keep things at a certain, um, everything has to be set to the minimum of whatever programs I'm using. So because Twitch, and I stream Twitch and YouTube at the same time, even though YouTube, YouTube could do more, I have to set it to the minimums that Twitch allows, or the maximum that Twitch allows, I should say. Um, because nothing, you guys don't see anything beyond that, so it's locked at 60, so the max you can see is 60 frames. Um, so there's no point for me. If if I was a graphics snob, the only benefit that the PS5 would give me would be for my personal benefit of having certain console games run at more than 60, um, or to get a, you know an extra five frames and slightly sharper imagery. But that doesn't come across in the streams for the viewer. So there's zero point for me to upgrade for my business reasons. And I don't personally care if I get an extra, you know, three to five frames. And people are like, oh, Final Fantasy VII looks so much better on the PS5. The Rebirth looks so much better on the PS5 Pro because it got rid of the blurriness in performance mode. And I'm never going back to play Final Fantasy VII again. I already played it. Why would I go back and play it? I mean, some games I'll go back and play again. This one. In particular but it's like getting a few extra frames or an extra visual is not the reason I go back and play a game for a second time I go back and play a game a second time because I really love the story or it was a really fun experience like the idea of going out and not only that but like they're shipping the physical drive separate from the box it makes no sense oh 
Oh, I have all three silent. So for me, it's not a question of money. Um, and I'm definitely not Master PC Race. I have a Series X, which is what I'm playing on right now. I have a PS5, which I play on. I mostly only play exclusives on the PS5. As often as I can, if, if it's coming to both consoles, I will play on the Series X because I much prefer the PSX, uh, the Series X controller. PSX. I much prefer the Series X controller because I get thumb fatigue when I use the PlayStation controller. But I love all the consoles. I have a PC with a 4080 in it. I've got a PS5. I've got a Series X. I play games wherever the games exist. I am not exclusive. I don't consider one thing better than the other. Um, you know... I've probably got between, I mean, there's probably, you know, there's probably $4,500, $5,000 just between those three devices, um, if you just count the hardware, you know, and then there's monitors and capture cards and, I mean, I've probably got $15,000 worth of gear sitting on my desk, you know, to do my, to do this for a living. So it, you know. I'll play the games wherever they come out. But I'm not going to go buy a second console when I already have one that works perfectly fine. Distance to target. Five fifty-five. Oh, we're definitely going in the right direction. Watch the political stuff in chat, guys. I don't permit it, so let's avoid talking about politics and voting and all that other stuff. Appreciate it. Thanks. We don't do religion. We don't do politics. Oh, how much money? But it's this cave over here. Because it's tracking the same distance, I think. Yep. There you go, Nick2. My vote's for Starfield. That's my vote, too. Shattered space for the win. Alright, there's a cave down there. It's right around the same distance. That's got to be it. Shrine? There's a sign for us. for clues around here a temporary encampment but not an uneventful stay for the occupant mm -hmm. I didn't sleep well last night have the tracking device hope oh, I can only hope he puts two and two together Supplies. I will take the milk though. Oh, here we got a recorder. This is the tracking device Tane gave Barrick. Tane turned off the ping when you arrived. 
And Farrick left the tracker here left in a hurry. It's useless now, but you salvage some materials. Keep your eye out for anything that might. Hang on, we got all sorts of stuff pinging now. Blood stains. Love some, thank you. When did you get this? this? View. Despite everything, I cannot help but be moved by how beautiful my home can be. Watch oh, a little tart. Woo. Merrick Musha asks Is there a point to buying the DLC? When I still have stuff to do in the basic game, are there any perks? Not that I'm aware of, it's just a story DLC, as far as I'm aware. So if you're not ready to run the story yet, you probably don't need to buy it. I don't think there's anything extra. Like, I don't think there's any extra perks, there's no extra vehicles. Not that I've seen yet. It's not an apple, it's a pear. If it's that crunchy, I might have to eat it with the sound off. I'll save that for later, guys. I didn't realize it was coming across that bad. Chris walked in and handed it to me, so I was like, alright, that sounds good. Um, so, I keep getting, like, two pings. And there's one ping. that. 